Errol Flynn Filmography The film appearances of movie actor Errol Flynn 1909-1959 are listed here, including his short films and one unfinished feature. Films Television Short films Lord films Unmade films Films Made films Made films Films the following projects were announced for Errol Flynn, but were not made. Danton 1936, based on Danton's death, and to be produced by Max Reinhardt and directed by William Deertel. The White Raja, late 1930s, based on the life of Sir James Brooke, based on Flynn's own story, and story, and story, and story, and story. The Romantic Adventure, 1938, a romantic comedy with Joan Blondell based on an original story by Jerry Wald and Morris Leo, Morris Leo, The Outpost, 1939, based on Caesar's Wife by Somerset Maugham, starring Flynn and Geraldine Fitzgerald, directed by Michael Curtis, Shanghai, 1940, from a story by Somerset Maugham, Jupiter Laughs, 1940, from the play by A. J. Cronin, The Life of Simon Bolivar, 1939-40, possibly with Bette Davis, the Sea Devil, 1942, a remake of The Sea Beast, which was adaptation of Moby Dick. Ghosts Don't Leave Footprints, 1941, sequel to Footsteps in the Dark, the Dark, in the Dark, in the Dark. To the Last Man, early 1940s comedy with Alexis Smith. The Devil, George and Rosie, 1943, from a story by John Collier to Star Flynn and Sheridan and Humphrey Bogart. The Frontiersman, circa 1945, an original western by Alan LeMay, about the beginning of a riverboat operation in the Mississippi, to be produced by Flynn and Mark Hellinger with Rail Walsh directing. Stallion Road, 1945, Target Japan, 1945, with producer Jerry Wald and director Rail Walsh about a B-minus-29 bombing crew, the Man Without Friends, 1945, based on story by Margaret Eckert about a man accused of the murder of his wife to be produced by Henry Blank and adapted by Catherine Turney. Untitled adventure film in the Frank Buck tradition shot off the coast of Mexico produced by Flynn. Thunder Valley, 1946, a western written by James Webb and produced by Owen Crump. General Crack, circa 1947, remake of General Crack, 1929, originally filmed starring John Barrymore. Halfway House, circa 1947, an alpine thriller by Francis Potter and Spencer Rice. The Turquoise, circa 1948, with Claude Rains and Dorothy Malone, based on the adventure novel by any set and set in the American Southwest in the 1890s, written by Edmund North, produced by William Jacobs. The Candy Kid, 1948, with producer Bill Jacobs, story of a gambler in the days of Diamond Jim Brady from a script by Borden Chase based on a magazine story by Michael MacDougall. The Last of the Buccaneers, circa 1949, a pirate movie based on a script by Flynn himself to be produced by Flynn, shot in Technicolor with the star as a Robin Hood type pirate, not to be confused with the 1951 Paul Henry film. Another source said this was to be about Bully Hayes and called The Last Buccaneer. Story of the female pirate Mary Burns with Greer Garson circa 1949. He and Garson also discussed doing a Broadway play together. The Man Who Cried 1950 production with William Marshall described as a psychological thriller about the perfect crime which took place over four hours. The Man from Sparta 1951. The Bengal Tiger 1952. Fire Over Africa 1952. The Green Moss, 1952, from a magazine serial by John Molloy. The Talisman from the novel by Sir Walter Scott, 1953. Abdullah the King, 1953, in the title role with Dawn Adams, directed by Gregory Ratoff. Dragonfly, 1953, proposed adventure film from producer John Champion, set in the Far East with Plin as an Air Force officer whose command is threatened with desertion. The White Witch of Rose Hall, 1954, to be made with Herbert Wilcox, based on a Jamaican legend about a female plantation owner who was a witch and killed her husband's to be produced by Barry Mahon. Flynn was still working on it. E. It E. It E. It E. 
it e it e it e it e lord vanity late nineteen fifties with robert wagner ten days to tallora nineteen fifty six with the same director of the big boodle about an adventurer whose son is kidnapped untitled debbie reynolds project as her teetotal father circa nineteen fifty eight films made with other actors flynn was announced for the following movies which were made with other actors sylvia scarlet nineteen thirty five the part played by brian Ahern. four daughters nineteen thirty seven part played by geoffrey lynn the adventures of marco polo nineteen thirty eight flynn was wanted by original director william wyler captain horatio hornblower announced in nineteen forty eventually made in nineteen fifty one with gregory peck the constant nymph with olivia de havilland part played by charles boyer affectionately yours nineteen forty one in this hour life nineteen forty two part played by george brent reap the wild wind nineteen forty two part played by john wayne mr skeffington nineteen forty four saratoga trunk nineteen forty five part played by gary cooper one last fling nineteen forty six part played by zachary scott the hucksters nineteen forty seven part played by clark gable the heiress 1948 william wyler reportedly wanted flynn for the part played by montgomery clift mr imperium 1951 with greer garson carson city 1952 announced for flynn and john wayne dallas 1950 king solomon's mines 1950 stuart granger replaced him ivanhoe 1952 box office rankings at the height of his career Exhibitors voted Flynn among the leading stars in Britain, the U.S., and Australia in various polls. 1937 11th Australia. 1938 21st U.S., 14th Australia. 1939 8th U.S., 7th Britain. 1940 14th U.S., 7th Britain, 4th Territories outside Canada and U.S. 1941 14th U.S., 1942 17th U.S., 15th internationally, asterisk 1943 17th U.S., 1946 25th U.S., 10th biggest Western star Britain, equals equals, references equals equals, equals.